What's up, sports better? So I've already given out some plays on prize picks, some plays on FanDuel, some plays on underdog fantasy. So I actually gave out this entry earlier on underdog fantasy. This is how you know your bets are good, right? So we took Jokic over 37 and a half points plus rebounds. Look at this. His line is now 38 half on underdog. Underdog was like, wow, we were asleep at the wheel. Alex caught us. They moved their lineup. We bet over 37 half. They're already up to 38 half. Bruce Brown, we took him under four rebounds. What a surprise. They came down to three and a half. RJ Barrett, we took him under 22 and a half points plus assists. They moved down to 21 half. So this is how you know your bets are good, right? The sports book moves in your direction. But anyways, I got five more player props for you. My player props are going to be on no house advantage. Right, so I've explained this before. These, right, no house advantage, prize picks, underdog, they're fixed payout platforms, right? Like on no house advantage, doesn't matter if I take overs or unders. If I go four for five, I'm getting a 2.6x payout. If I go five for five, I get a 12x payout. Doesn't matter if you take overs or unders. Doesn't matter if we switch this to a different pick. We're always getting the exact same payouts, right? So I've broken down the math before, but essentially you can just take you know, the payouts, there's nothing complex we're doing here. We're literally just taking this 2.6x and this 12x and backing out what percentage of our picks we need to win to be profitable long-term on No House Advantage. And it's 53.227%, right? So if you're hitting 54% of your player props, what No House Advantage assumes is they assume most people don't have any edge, right? Most sports bettors are clueless. They bet with their gut. They have no advantage. So they're selecting over-unders correctly about 50% of the time, right? Anybody can get over-unders correctly 50% of the time. What's hard is getting your win rate to 53.227% because that's what you got to do to be profitable on No House Advantage, right? If you're hitting 55% of your picks, your ROI on no house advantage is going to be 13.9% long term, so pretty good. But if you can only win 51% of your player props, you're going to have a negative 15.5% ROI. So you're just trying to find plays with an edge, right? I say this all the time. This isn't, you know, get rich quick scheme, none of that BS. I'm just showing you how to find mathematical um, advantages in sports betting markets. So the tool I typically start out on is right here, it's called the positive EV tool. And essentially all this tool does when you think about no house advantage, I mean, there's bets on sports books as well. So I explain this a lot, but like if you have prize picks, you should sign up for underdog fantasy, right? These sharp picks that we were able to get, underdog fantasy was asleep at the wheel. These picks weren't on prize picks. If you only have prize picks, you missed out on this profitable betting opportunity, right? Not all sports books, they don't all have the exact same lines. So you want to have more sports books. More sports books means more profitable betting opportunities, right? Sometimes there's more value on Fliff. Sometimes there's more value in a given day on NHA. I say this all the time. I'm literally just showing you guys what I'm putting my own money on. Sometimes there's more value on FanDuel. You can see I got a few bets on FanDuel already today. I got some bets on Underdog. You never know which sports book is going to screw up. Right, which sports book is going to slip up and offer value? And today, there's been a fair amount of good bets on um, No House Advantage. Again, a new prize picks competitor, a lot of profitable bets. Definitely recommend signing up. So, the tool I'm starting out on is the Odds GM Positive Expected Value Positive EV tool. So, all you do is you select the sports books you use. So, I got No House Advantage selected, and this tool is just going to show me. Well, now I zoomed out too much, but this tool is just going to show you sharp bets on No House Advantage, right? So, you're going to see here. All the sports books, literally every single one, right? They all have Hunter Green's under heavily favored, right? All the books have his under f seven and a half strikeouts as the heavily favored outcome. So they have been more likely of going under as opposed to over. So we're following the data, right? We know to be profitable on No House Advantage, we just got to win our picks over 53.227% of the time. So I just use the positive EV tool. It just shows you spots, right? Where sports books have one side heavily favored. So out of, you know, all the lines on No House Advantage, the best play currently available is Hunter Green under seven and a half strikeouts. All the books have his under heavily favored, right? It's really that simple. All the books have his under heavily favored, no brainer play, right? Following the data, we know on No House Advantage, they're not changing our payouts, right? Based on us selecting over or under, like they're not changing your payouts based on you selecting over or under. So this is exactly what you want, right? You want to find spots where sports books have an under or an over, in this case, it's Hunter Green's under, heavily favored. That's the strategy for beating no house advantage. It's also the strategy for beating prize picks.
So again, all these books set lines independently. This value on Booker, it's not on No House Advantage, right? This play, Booker, over five and a half assists, you can't get it on No House Advantage. But Prize Picks is another platform where they're not changing your payouts based on your picks. This is always your payout for a flex play. So you just want to find spots where books are telling you, yo, one side's heavily favored. And in this case, for Booker, all the sports books, right? Follow the data. You're not smarter than the data. I don't know why people think they're smarter than the data, but you're not smarter than the data. All the sports books have Booker's over five and a half assists, pretty heavily favored around like minus 150 odds. So that would be a great play to go with on prize picks. But this video is about no house advantage. Here are my picks. Myers one plus base, Kron one plus run, Blackmon one plus run, Hunter Green under seven and a half strikeouts, Margot under half of a single. So I got a lot of these plays as well from the odds jam fantasy screen. So this fantasy screen right here, all it does is very similar to the EV tool. It just shows you spots where sports books have one side heavily favored, right? So here for Hunter Green, his under is heavily favored on all the sports books, kind of around, you know, minus 140 odds. So the under is more likely than the over, right? Lines are juiced towards the under. So just like here, right? We know Booker. He's always going to go over five and a half assists or he's going to go under five and a half assists. But all sports books have his over favored. So we know his over is hitting over 50% of the time, according to the data points. So it's no different here, right? For Hunter Green, all the sports books have his under favored. So they're all saying, yo, Hunter Green, he's a lot more likely to go under as opposed to over. So that's a sharp player prop bet to include in your entry. It's winning 54.8% of the time, according to the sports books, right? According to the sports book odds, the fact that sports books have the under heavily favored, we know the under is hitting over 50% of the time, and you can quantify that, 54.8%. So that's exactly what Odds GM is doing, right? There's no BS. Everything is based in data. All the sports books have Hunter Greens under, heavily favored. That's a sharp play to include in your entry. So grab some plays from the screen, the positive EV tool, the fantasy screen. Again, it works for no house advantage. Sometimes there's more value on prize picks, whatever, right? But hopefully this video was helpful. Let's make some money, guys.